SMSL, SU-8. While the SU-8 look is eerily similar to other SMSL DAC offerings, the internals isn't just minor modifications of the other SMSL DACs. The SU-8 is equipped with a linear power supply to keep any switching frequencies away from the audio circuit. USB processing on the SU-8 is done by an XMOSXU216 USB controller, and this means that the SU-8 has MQA rendering capabilities. Downstream to the XU216, the SU-8 is equipped with an SES 9068AS DAC chip, which is a two-channel DAC chip that features HyperStream 2 technology. With the DAC and the USB controller working in conjunction, the SU-8 can decode up to 32-bit 768kHz PCM, DSD 512, as well as MQA. Aside from a well-designed input and DAC section, the SU-8's output section is designed with 5 OPA 1612 op amps. The SU-8 arrives in SMSL's typical white box, however, it doesn't have an outer sleeve anymore, instead, all branding material is found in front of the box. Opening the box reveals that the DAC and the other accessories are kept safe with foam material. Aside from the SU-8 itself, the package also contains a standard IAC power cord, a remote control, a USB cable, a Bluetooth antenna, and four extra feet that can be placed at the bottom of the device. This is simply the standard packaging that SMSL DACs come in, however, adding the rubber feet is a nice touch. When I first saw the SU-8 online, my thoughts were that it's a trimmed-down version of the SU-9. And physically, the dimensions of the SU-8 is actually the same as the SU-9, except that the depth of the SU-8 is trimmed down by around 12 mm. Aside from that, the two devices are easily mistakable for each other. In the center of the front fascia, there is a 1.9 TFT screen protected by tempered glass to protect the LCD, as well as to ensure clear viewing angles of whatever information is on the LCD. Check out the description for more information in latest price.